to our gold participants from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Public Relations Manager and MC for Gold Learning. I'm here today chatting with Dr. Monica Ordway. Welcome, Monica. It's great to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. And Monica is uh, presenting for us at our Gold Learning, at, and their presentation is titled The First Thousand Days Promoting Infant Mental Health. And what a fantastic subject matter this is. I'm very excited about uh, this particular package, Monica, and it's very near and dear to my heart. But first of all, I'd love to ask you a little bit more about yourself. So maybe you can share with our audience a little bit about yourself and how you first became interested in mental health issues in infants and toddlers. Sure. Um, I started as a pediatric nurse practitioner uh, right out of undergrad and was in a very busy urban practice in Connecticut, uh, the United States. And I was became interested in lactation as I learned more and more and had more and more experience with working with mothers and children and sort of that interaction felt that we weren't doing enough in our practice to support moms who were struggling with with breastfeeding and it was probably through my work as a lactation consultant once I um, started to focus on that in my practice that I really became interested in the dyadic interaction between infants and toddlers um, and mothers quick thinking often of that there's a problem with them when the breastfeeding isn't going well uh, rather than looking at it as more of a dyadic interaction and how to read the baby's cues um, to em enhance and improve their breastfeeding. So that was probably my first interest in infant mental health and then after 10 years of practice I went back for my PhD in postdoc and worked with a great group doing home visiting uh, beginning prenatally until the children are two years of age with a strong focus on enhancing both the mental and physical health of the mother and the infant toddler. Wow, that's amazing. That sounds like quite the journey uh, that you've had to date, I'm assuming. So uh, just wonderful to, to be able to be with those moms prenatally right through until uh, postnatally and, and see those impacts that you know certain things can have on their lives. Can you perhaps share a little bit with uh, us about what the most significant changes that you have seen to date in the field? I think, you know, what it's an exciting time to be in the field of infant mental health. There's been, you know, an increase, a growing increase understanding and awareness of the impact on very young children and long-term, lifelong disease prevention, both physical and mental. And I, um, you know, I think our country, at least in the United States, we, we, we tend to be more sort of tertiary care focused, acute care focused. And so right now for us, this is an exciting time to be thinking, focused more on health promotion and going further and further upstream to, um, you know, that these problems start at very early childhood Excellent. and can be prevented. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, um, you know, for so many, for so long, it seems like it just hasn't gotten enough airtime. You know, we haven't spoken about enough. It seems like it's still sometimes a very small niche of healthcare, but such an important area. Um, and so I can't thank you enough again for, for being part of that and, and, you know, spreading the word and teaching us how we can all do better as well. So lastly, before I let you go, Monica, maybe you can just uh, share with our delegates that are listening in today, what are you most excited about sharing in your presentation? I think just to what you spoke about, that the more we can spread an understanding and awareness of the, um, you know, the adverse effects that early adverse experiences can have uh, on on our children into adulthood, the more we can support, you know, change policy as well as uh, find more and more funding opportunities to advance this area of science. Well, I'm sure as our audience is listening in, there'll be many like-minded people that are hungry and eager to hear what you have been doing and how you, what you've achieved. So um, I'm sure they'll, uh, I, I know you listening audience right now, make sure you're there uh, at the conference. We'll look forward to having you all. But thank you, Monica. I really appreciate not only what, what you're doing, but have, taking the opportunity to come to Gold here and tell us uh, what else we can do to improve in, uh, in our care as well. So thank you again. Thanks for sitting down with me today and chatting. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Fiona.
And thanks again to all of our listening audience. We'll chat with you all again soon. Bye-bye for now.